it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th is that what it is I don't even know I'm looking yeah timing is fluid though so these readings are timeless we're just gonna see what comes up they could play out a couple days I mean that's how it usually is for me but I hear all different kinds of things so Let's see, what do we have? We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. I don't know why. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? The bee just disappeared. I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him since. No kidding. Uh, gone. What do we got? What do we got? Probably show up at any moment. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Attachment. Attachment. So we got somebody here that is attached. They're attached to something. Taken off a mask by the looks of things. But I just happened to notice that. But you see somebody is attached to something. There's a chain. Okay. So this is about uh, freedom. Fives are about freedom. They are. It's about personal freedom. You have to break free from something. So this is about breaking free from something that you are attached to. It's taking that mask off and uh, revealing your true self, you know, not allowing yourself to be chained to a situation. So fives are about change. It's about conflicts. Okay, there's the, it is. So you need to face the conflict within yourself to change. It's about life choices. Okay, you are probably being guided to detach from something, to let go of the old and bring in the new. It's time to explore. It's a time of, of change, okay? So we do, and I do, it looks like to me as though mask, a mask is coming off, okay? It's a false mask. It's not real. It doesn't do any good. So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have for around the 30th or thereabouts? The magician. This is about being in control. This is a yes answer. This is about taking action. So somebody is going to be taking action. They're going to be finding their resources to obtain whatever it is that they want. This is a, this is a doer. Somebody's going to do whatever they want. I'm going to do what I have to do. So this is somebody that is... is uh, A believer as well. This is a card of manifestation. As above, so below. You get what you ask for. Somebody is 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 getting what they ask for because they because they ask for it because they take action. Hmm. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. That is what you manifest. You manifest something solid, something stable, something secure. This is a yes. This is this is building a foundation, planning, working hard. We have a hard worker here that is very skilled. These are very both very cards of skills. We have very skilled individuals. This person is skilled at manifesting, and they are about to receive. An opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. It's a real opportunity. It's an opportunity for abundance. And it's because they take action. So this is receiving a real opportunity. This is this is very this is a highly self-aware individual right here that has the tools to be successful because they know they can be. This is a true believer. A believer in manifestation, <laughs> a believer in, uh, well, this person has faith as well, plus, uh, the drive, okay? Anyhow, so somebody is taking action, they have manifested something, Their prayers are being answered in some way. This is an absolute yes. Your hard work is about to pay off. 
Now, the Knight of Pentacles is uh, somebody that is very domestic, very uh, predictable and reliable. This is a hard worker who is responsible, that is in a position of uh, status, okay? And is known for their responsibility or their responsibleness or whatever word you would use for that. Um, they're known to be responsible, put it that way. Loyal. Somebody's about to gain something. They're about to gain something solid. Wow. Wow. Now this could have to do with the commitment. And this is about faith. Their faith in God or a higher power is paying off. I'm telling you what, somebody's prayers are about to be answered. Okay, this is a, there's a higher power involved here. Okay, the, the higher power has has heard the call per se, and your prayers are about to be answered. I don't like to I don't like to uh, you know sugarcoat things in any way, but that is what I see. So this is this is uh, this is a this is a divine connection, and this is the direct connection to God. This one is. So we do have a divine connection here. It's like your prayers have been heard. And I know I'm repeating myself. But that, you know, we get, I'm just going to give you a little lesson right here. We get a lot of people that don't believe. If you don't believe, and I, yeah, this isn't a sermon or anything. But if you don't believe, then forget it. Look up the meaning of faith. We have a believer here. And if you don't believe, then this reading isn't for you. You can click off right now. We have a believer here that is about to receive the answer to their prayers. This is somebody who prays. Okay, this is, this is somebody who believes in a higher power. It doesn't have to be the biblical God, okay? This is somebody who believes in the universe, believes in a divine connection. This has to do with commitment. It has to do with faith and trust. This is a gift. This is guidance. From above it's guidance from above because it is there's guidance from above here somebody is being guided down the path to stability but they're gonna have to take action to be successful you have to be willing the magician is about willingness to shed the old to bring in the new this is somebody who is willing to do whatever it takes Oh my God. Page of Cups. Page of Cups is good news. It's an offer of love. This is like, uh, you need prayers. I'm telling you what. This is a, this is a love. This is love. This is, this is, uh, oh God. So a new, uh, somebody, a new crush, a secret admirer. Um, expression of feelings this is good news this is welcome news coming loving kind sweet this is a this is a dreamer this is a dreamer this is somebody that does dream has manifested something this this is beautiful so far okay so this is a new opportunity for love this is good news this is a welcome message. This is like a higher power bringing in an opportunity for love and stability. This is a yes. 
Oh my God, if it couldn't get any better. This is fantastic. This is extremely good news, okay? Somebody's about to receive an offer or an invite that is very, very, very exciting. It is, there's a, it, it, it could grow. There's passion, there's love, and there's stability here. Passion, love, stability. Commitment. Okay, so this is, this is beautiful. It is. Somebody has manifested uh, something. Uh, unbelievable. Put it that way. But anyhow, <laughs> there is a message that is coming. There is a message that is coming. You've been, you asked for it. Okay, you, this is something that, uh, it's like you asked your angels, okay, or you asked God, or you asked the universe, you asked for this, and you surrendered, okay, you surrendered, you surrendered to the universe, here it comes, here it comes. Now, when I say surrender to the universe, that means you don't put a name on things, okay, because when you put a name on something, that would be trying to force Okay, you can't force, you can't say, I want so-and-so. Doesn't work like that. That's force. Okay, the universe is not going to agree to your force. You have to surrender. So we have somebody here that has surrendered, and they are about to receive a message that excites them, that puts them in their feelings, This is definitely good news. Very positive message. We have somebody here that wants to build. They want to build a foundation. They see a golden opportunity for commitment here. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, this could also be a suitor that is completely um, unexpected. Okay, this is somebody that is uh, very well suited for you. There may be a little bit of an age difference, maybe five years uh, or less. Somebody's going to be taking an opportunity. They are going to take it. And they're going to be offering it. They're going to be offering, you know, there's going to be reciprocation here. There is definitely going to be some reciprocation. These two people are going to be talking to each other. It's like they've manifested each other. Okay? Um, right around the same age. Not, no more than a five-year difference is my guess. These two people, you know, are uh, definitely feeling for each other, okay? I'm going to be communicating openly. This is, this is uh, not who you think it is, though, which is interesting. The Empress, the Empress. So this is the birth of a new life. This is after all the pain and the suffering, we are about to get a blessing. This is a true gift. Somebody is about to give something to uh, this woman who is uh, very valuable. I mean, the Empress is, she's unconditional love. She's a goddess. She's domestic. She does it all. She's loyal. She's sexy. She's sensual. She demonstrates love. We have an empress here who knows her value. 
she's very valuable she's she's abundant she's absolutely abundant looks as though she's been waiting she's been because the empress waits okay she waits she waits for the time she waits for the time to you know whenever god says it's time it's time that's the way it goes when it's time to give birth you don't that's the way it goes so and here we have god or the universe or whatever you want to say it's time it's time for this delivery it's time for you to receive your blessing this is what you wished for it's a it's a freaking miracle this is a miracle. So there's somebody who's going to be receiving a message. Their prayers have been answered. This is a true blessing. Somebody could also be giving birth. You could hear news of a birth or a pregnancy. A seed is being planted, put it that way. So if you don't want to get pregnant, well, I wouldn't have sex. Unless you're, you know, if you're above age, I'm sure I'll get a comment before, oh, oh, I'm above age. Well, okay then. We do have a very beautiful empress here who has multiple options that is receiving an offer. She's not lacking for anything. Her prayers have been heard. Somebody's going to be giving her something solid. We'll be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have a Queen of Cups here who and the, I mean the cover is on this cup this person is a caregiver maybe we have a caregiver here we have a real lover here somebody that has a very 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 big heart this big hearted woman <laughs> is getting some sort of blessing and that is no joke this is a real blessing It's almost like Cupid or God or the, the universe is just bringing two people together. It's crazy. It is crazy. Now this is listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. The intuition. Listen to your intuition. You are going to be receiving messages. And my message to you is follow your intuition. If you are questioning this person's motives, listen to your intuition. Your intuition will give you the answers. Don't doubt your intuition. Whoever is coming in is very real. They are solid. They are looking for love. They are in a positive mindset. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to make it successful. We do have an empress here. I feel like she's experienced pain. And because the cup is closed, it feels as though there is emotional unable. It's like unable to accept. It's like this. She's a lover, but maybe she's accepted that. You know, she's never, no expectations, that kind of thing. I mean, because the cup is closed. It's like, I'm not giving my love away. Not giving my love away to anybody, even though she does everything with love. She does do everything with love.
She's been holding out. She's been holding out, waiting for this real opportunity. And well, here it is. Here it is. So anyhow, um, get prepared to hear a very exciting, positive message from somebody that is, I feel like this person is right around your same age. I feel like this person is looking for a commitment. You asked for this person. This is not a person that you put a name on it. Okay, this is somebody the universe or God or a higher power has decided that this is the best option for you. It's time. You don't get to choose. It's kind of like that baby when you get to like reincarnation. Okay, when when you know when you decide to be born again. Okay, it's it's kind of like that. You you. You never know, okay? You don't get to just, even though you do have that conversation with God, you have that conversation with God about who your parents are going to be. At least that's my belief. Um, this is about, this is, a, but you get, you still get to choose. You get to choose who your parents are. But based on the lessons that you have learned or you hadn't learned in the past, Anyway, there's a chance for a new life here. There is. There's a chance for a new life here. Be sure that you are weighing your options. And I wouldn't turn down this offer just because it doesn't look like what you asked for. Perhaps you should thank God for unanswered prayers. Because there's an option here that is perfect for you, that is about to land right in your lap. Good luck.